Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? Well, I am decorating away here today and I thought I would bring you for at least a little bit of my hutch here. Uh, as you see, I've cleaned pretty much everything off of the top of it and I am going to add some Christmas trees to the top of it. And that's really all I'm gonna do up here. And then uh, Chris is out and about and he's fixing to come home. I didn't dust up here, yuck, sorry. And we're fixing to go out to, to a late lunch. He's been out running around and doing some stuff. So, and I've been here decorating. So, uh, but I, I am going to see what I can come up with with the Christmas trees that I just pulled out of my bin. Excuse the back of my head. Uh, and they're mostly silver, and I have big silver bows that go on here. And you can see my lanterns are kind of gold, but you know, it's silver and gold, you know, that's all, whatever. We're gonna mix silver and gold, and it's okay. It's okay. You can do whatever you want to do in your house. Remember, this is my house. I'm gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> But I have, I've had all of these Christmas trees. I don't, I think I got them all from Hobby Lobby, but y'all don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got them all from. So I'm going to just start to set them up here and see what I come up with. I think I'm going to leave these uh, candle holders where they are. I kind of like them up here. Again, they're more of a, you know, a, they're kind of a go with the gold a little bit more than silver, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I also have, which I know I want to put up, two silver snowmen. See that? Maybe you can't. Oh, there we go. way his nose goes. Got a flat nose. Look at his nose. I thought it was, it got bent, but it didn't. It's like that. Poor fella. Okay. And I really don't have any extra blocks or anything up here right now. So I'm just going to kind of go with what I have. I may need to put some stuff up on blocks. to set right in there and then the garland and then I'm telling you all inside of this thing I may not be putting a lot I may add just a touch of some blingy florals in there but I'm not cleaning out my whole hutch I redecorated my whole hutch as you know after Christmas last year and I do have some like a, a bit of springy looking I've got like lamb's ear in there which is okay to use at Christmas too, but you know, I may remove some of that and then put some blingy stuff in. And if I do that, I'll probably bring you along a little bit later or in fast motion another time just to show you what I did. And then Chris and I will get the garland up and I'll show, and I'll you. show you the finished project. Let me see if I can reach these Christmas trees. They're behind the camera. Oh yeah. Oh. There we go. I don't think I need, I don't think I had them up on anything last year, so I think they're fine. I think it looks pretty. So, there we go. And then it needs to be dusted a little bit. But that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all I do for the, uh, for above the hutch. And I think it's pretty. It's subtle. It brings Christmas in, and it's pretty. It's enough, you know? And then when I get the big old, you know, garland up here, that really you know, brightens up. It's a lit pine garland. Uh, I think I wrapped silver ornament garland in it last year. Y'all know, I don't remember. I'll have to see if I can go find it. It's sitting over there in a bin, but uh, 
I need help putting it up. I will admit so but anyway I'll be back when that's up camera, but let me go ahead and say my final words here while I'm looking at y'all you know I got you know I want to do this while I'm looking at you I don't like do my doing my final words behind the camera y'all I just I like to look you in you know the eyes even though I can't really see your eyes I feel like I'm looking right at y'all so let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone and that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, come back though, I'll have more footage, but I just wanted to do this while I was looking at you. I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.